good afternoon or good morning for some of you. Uh, so excited to have you guys join us today for our webinar and introduction to ZenBit's email template functionality. And I see we've still got quite a few people jumping in, uh, so we'll give it maybe one more minute just so those folks can, can get in. And maybe in the meantime, please do a hand raise uh, if you know how to do that in the GoToWebinar side panel there. If you're having any trouble hearing me or seeing the screen, um, you should see a slide that says introduce things in the email template. Um, with that, we'll get started in just a moment. All right, so we are going to get started. I um, want to welcome everyone again to today's session. Today we're going to be covering and introducing all of you to ZenBit's email templates. So before we do get started, I want to address a couple of housekeeping items. Today's webinar is being recorded, and it will be sent via email to all registrants and attendees. Uh, you'll receive a link, and you should get this email somewhere between 24 and 48 hours following today's live session. Also, we will be taking questions throughout the session, so please do not hesitate to ask a question. We will be monitoring those questions using the question pane in the Go to Webinar side panel, so if you'll please take a moment to locate that if you're not familiar with it. We have Kate who is our customer success manager, and she is on to answer those questions for you. Uh, she will be monitoring that and can respond to you uh, via those questions. So Kate, thanks for, for joining us and doing that for us today. So in terms of the contents of this webinar, I do just wanna make a statement that we are looking a little bit forward today. Today's webinar, you will see product that is currently um, still in development. Some features may look oh, slightly different upon general availability, uh, but for the most part, uh, you're, you're going to see what you should um, intend to receive upon general availability for email templates. Okay, so with that, um, we're going to be showing a live demonstration today of email templates. I know many of our customers have been waiting for this functionality, and so we are Super excited to be able to share this with you today um, and uh, really dive into what you can expect uh, in terms of being able to use email templates once it's available. So what can you expect from Zimbit's email template functionality? In the first release of templates, we will be supporting Salesforce templates. So any Lightning or Classic template that you have access to inside of Salesforce, you will be able to access it through the Zenbit sidebar and be able to use that. Uh, you can also apply any merge or variable tag fields to help personalize your templates. And we'll be walking you through what that looks like in the live demo today. What we're really focused on here is being able to enable the Zenbit templates in combination with some of the other great functionality that you already have access to, such as buyer signals and calendar sharing. With those combined features together, it really provides a powerful, seamless process for you to be able to initiate easy communication with your customers and prospects, book meetings, and also be able to access all the information that you need to within Salesforce right from the inbox. So we'll be super excited to share with you a couple of different workflows and scenarios we've developed for the demo today uh, to help you visualize how you can use templates within your organization. Also, with this packaged with this release of email templates, we are also rolling out a new way to experience Zimbus, Zimbus latest and greatest features. 
So we now have a user interface that allows users to decide if they want to enable or disable functionality within the sidebar. So here's an example. With email templates from the more options within our sidebar, users today can enable or disable email templates as a functionality. So if this perhaps is not something that you feel like is going to work for you day one, or you just need a little bit of time possibly to massage or perfect the templates that you have in Salesforce today before you start using it, you can certainly turn this off for that time being until you're ready to get started. We do plan in the future to enable this type of functionality at the org level. This would enable admins to actually, um, on behalf of the users, disable and enable functionality. But today, uh, with the email template release, we will be enabling this at the user level only. So let's jump right in. Uh, let's take a look at what you can expect for email templates. So you should be seeing my Outlook inbox here. The first story that we're gonna walk through today with regards to email templates is really the day in the life of an account executive. So for account executives, it's all about speed when it comes to non-revenue tasks. And with Zimbit's new email templates, we can allow just for that. So account executives can focus on the actions and insights and booking meetings versus spending a lot of time crafting and then recopying emails that they know already work. So let's explore this common example. Here we have a website demo request from Sally. So Sally is a new incoming individual that's interested in our product. And we want to respond to her quickly, easily, so we can go ahead and get that demo booked. So I'm going to reply to this email. You'll notice that my side panel is present upon the reply compose screen. And this will enable me to actually access the new template view. So you'll see here, as you're used to already, we have a contact card view. And in order to send this to the appropriate contact, we're actually going to input Sally in the two line as the recipient of this email. You'll see that now those changes reflect in the sidebar. And I can see Sally, some information about her coming out of Salesforce. And I now have this new template icon within my quick actions alongside of my new template view. So now I can work with these templates and actually select the one that I want to use. So I'm going to do this actually um, by selecting my drop down here in the choose template. You'll see it's going to display my most five frequently used templates, so it makes it super simple for me to choose templates that I'm using on a regular basis. You'll see here that I have a demo request follow-up template. I'm going to select that. And then my primary recipient, Sally, is already pre-filled for me. The primary recipient actually allows me to add additional personalization to my email templates. So it looks at that contact record in Salesforce and enables me to actually put in variable tags or merge fields that I already have about that contact and include it inside of the template. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to apply this template. And you'll see my response field or window is now populated with the body of that email. Sally being the first name has pre-filled for me based upon that personalization. And then also we can include sender personalization from that Salesforce template into the template here as well. So for this, I have my calendar link. I'm the sender of this email and I want Sally to receive my link so that she can book time with me. You'll also notice that in the Zimbit side panel, we now by default have the emails being tracked as well as the links by default. So anytime I send this email out and there are links included, I can start really tracking and seeing the engagement and buyer signals on those emails. A great example of this would be when I send this response to Sally for this demo request, I can then go back and look and see, did she select any particular links? Did she visit any specific web pages on my site in between our demo? And that can help me determine, are there specific solutions that she might be interested in that I want to touch on in that demo? 
So we'll go ahead and send this email to Sally. So that was an example of how an account executive might utilize Zimbit's email template to book a demo with a prospect from right from their inbox. So the next example that we're going to take a look at is really a story of customer success. So customer success teams, they really want to spend most of their time on those high value tasks that enhance the customer experience. Templates enabled with our Salesforce sidebar gives them full access to the customer information that they need with the ability to effectively communicate. So let's take a look at an example here based upon a case in Salesforce. So I'm going to actually open up a new Compose window in Outlook. And I'm going to add my recipient here. We're going to use Sally again as our contact. And now we have our contact card present again, along with our templates view. So Sally here on the contact card has, I have the ability to actually see her Salesforce related items. So here we can see that we have an opportunity open with Sally. And we also have a case open with Sally. So I'm gonna select this case. And I see that we're currently working on an Outlook add in implementation with Sally. And you'll notice that now in my quick actions, also on the case contact or object card, I can click this template quick action, which actually enables me to send this template related to the case and Sally as the contact at the same time. So again, we're gonna choose our template. And instead of selecting from our top five, I'm gonna select view all. And you'll see here in our templates list view, we have a list of various templates coming out of Salesforce. We can view them here in the list. We can also search for a template. And then we also have a filter option. My filter option is driven based upon the folders and folder structure that your organization has established inside of Salesforce. So any folders that you've applied there will display here. Instead of selecting a folder, I'm going to apply a search. So I want to search for my case email template. So I can see that I have a number of email templates related to cases, and I'm not quite sure which one I need to send to Sally. Um, I'm going to look at this case created, and I have this ability with the information icon here to actually preview this template inside of the sidebar to see if it's the right one. So now I, have, I am displaying the actual content of this template, and I can determine, is this the right template that I want to use? I can, in fact, confirm that it is, and I can actually choose to select it from the sidebar. It's now going to populate uh, my Compose window when I apply this, but first, it's verifying here. Is this the, the template you want? Is this the primary recipient that you want the template applied to? And do you want it applied to this particular case? I'm going to say apply. And you'll see here that now that we've selected that specific case for Sally, it has gone and looked at Salesforce and said, OK, here's the case number, populated it in the subject headline, as well as in the body of the email. So this makes it super easy and simple for you to see all the information that you need about your customers within the inbox and use that information to send personalized email templates to your customer. So we're going to look at one last example, and this is more of an industry-specific example, but think about how you may be able to apply this to your organization as well. So we're going to look at an instance where I am a financial advisor and I need to book a personal planning analysis meeting with my client. I'm going to put the client's email address into my two line here. And again, that's going to start the work inside of the sidebar to send my template. So you'll see here, I can go back here to my list and I have a wealth management PPA request meeting template set up. I can select that meeting template. It's going to be applied to Amy. And when I select this, it's going to apply the body of the email into my Compose screen, just as we saw before. 
One of the really unique things, though, about how we can utilize email templates alongside of calendar sharing in Zenbit is the ability to really personalize that meeting booking experience. So here I have Amy's calendar link, but if we click on that, let's look at how we've personalized that for this particular template and meeting type. So here you'll see that this is a personal planning analysis meeting. It displays that at the top. This meeting is typically an hour long, and we can actually select time slots for when we want to um, book that meeting. So we select the time. We can put in our information here. Down below, it's already pre-filled with a description of what we're going to cover in this particular meeting. It's got our Zoom link here because today we're meeting virtually. And then down below, we have our list of questions that may, we may want to ask to the client prior to the meeting. And this just helps us to prep and understand what are the important things that we need to cover. So for this instance, it might be insurance needs or any um, financial needs that the customer wants to address. So as you see here, we've really used the power of the Zenbit sidebar to personalize the email template, personalize the calendar booking process, and as well as enable the buyer signals engagement tools so that we can track the email opens and we can also enable link clicks and website visits all at the same time to help tell that story about the customer and the interactions that they're having with us. So for example, here, we can look at the fact that the buyer signals here is open. Um, we can look at any link clicks that have occurred for this particular individual. And that just really helps us to further tailor our process. It also helps us to understand, are our email templates working? Are they opening them? Are they clicking on the links that we're sending to them? And if they're not, maybe we want to go back into Salesforce and really tweak um, those templates so that they're high performing for us each time. Okay, so with that, um, we are going to open it up to take a couple of questions. So, uh, Kate, can you let us know if we've had any specific questions we can answer? Hey, Amy, thank you so much um, for that. That was great. Um, so a few questions that I think would just be helpful to go through as we're um, thinking about um, Zimbit email templates. Um, the first one would be, does Zimbit support both classic and lightning templates? That's a really great question. So a lot of our Salesforce users are starting to adopt lightning and really embrace that within their organization. But if they were previously on Classic, they probably already have some templates that were built there that they use and that they like. And so it's really important for us to be able to support both of those. And so, yes, you can use both your Lightning and your Classic templates um, within the Zenbit sidebar. And actually, um, this is a great example of that. The one that you see here is actually a Lightning template. And the case template that I showed on the customer success example was actually a Classic template. Great, thank you so much, it's helpful. Um, and then can you also have um, more than one recipient? Um, I think um, our users notice that primary recipient field. That's also a great question. So with the way that the first iteration of email templates works, it will just look at one primary recipient at a time. So it's not um, a bulk send situation yet. Uh, so the question is, right now, it's just one recipient for each template. Great. And then another question um, that I think would be helpful. Um, can you schedule um, the email template to be sent out at a time later than um, when you're configuring it? Ah, uh, As a marketing person, I love that, right? Being able to schedule something because we know from a marketing perspective that there really are some days and times that really work better than others. For the first um, look at email templates here, we do not have that capability, but we are looking at adding it at a later time. Great. Um, and then kind of a last question, um, can you create your own templates using Zimbit? 
So currently we are supporting the Salesforce template. So we're pushing through all the templates that you currently have in Salesforce today. However, if you have the capability to create templates in Salesforce or um, modify existing templates that are there to make them your own, you can certainly create as many as you want there and then you'll be able to access them through the Zimbit sidebar. So um, I'd like to maybe bounce back to the PowerPoint for just a moment, and then we'll take some other questions at the very end, if that's okay. Got a few more things to cover. Um, so I know a lot of you are probably asking the question, when can I start using this? So I want to talk a little bit about our path forward for customers to get access to email templates. So general availability communication is going to be going out in the next week or two, so keep an eye out. We'll be sending you an email communication to let you know that it's available and ready for use. As I showed early in the presentation, the ability to actually disable or enable the functionality within the sidebar, which I'll pop back over and show you how to do that. Um, it will be enabled by default, so it's going to be turned on for you. Um, so all users have the ability to try the functionality out, use the template, um, but you will have, as I mentioned earlier, the ability to turn it off if for whatever reason, like I mentioned, your templates aren't really ready in Salesforce, you want to make some adjustments there, um, you certainly can turn it off until you're ready to start utilizing the functionality. Um, one important thing to note, though, is that the email templates is actually currently a part of our expert package. So for any of you who are not on the expert package, don't fear. We are going to turn this on for all users, regardless of your current subscription, for 30 days. So you're going to have 30 days to really dive into this, use it, um, figure out how it's going to best work for your organization. And then at that particular time, we will certainly um, provide you with um, some communication to help you navigate your next steps if you want to uh, continue after the 30 days using the templates um, or kind of where you, what your password will be at that particular time. Um, so to that point, uh, I'll just pop right back over here for just one moment and show you all where you can enable and disable the functionality. So here in the More Options tab, our three lines here, we can navigate down to the Settings and the Sidebar. And you'll see that we have email templates here, and currently mine is enabled. So it will look like this for everyone, and you can certainly toggle it to disable it off. All right. So just wanted to cover those quick topics. I know there were some questions on that, so I thought I'd cover that quickly. Do we have any other questions that we weren't able to respond to a few moments ago, Kate? We do not. I think we are actually all set on questions. Great. Well, I'll leave it open for a few more minutes. If anybody has any questions they want to type in, uh, feel free to do so. We'll get those answered for you. I see we had a couple of questions come in. Kate, I'll, I'll grab one of these questions if you don't mind. Um, so it looks like we've got one question here about bulk email sends. Um, so yeah, so I, I touched on that earlier. Right now, it's currently just um, you know one primary recipient email um, that we're sending out with the templates today, but we are looking at more of that list than campaign type of sending in a future release. So good question there. Um, and then I believe someone else had asked if they can import their own custom templates. And um, so the response to that is you certainly can create all the custom templates you'd like in Salesforce today, and they'll display in the sidebar, but currently um, we're only supporting templates coming from Salesforce.
Um, I see maybe we had a few people join a couple minutes late and may have missed a little bit of the demo. Um, so again, I mentioned at the beginning that this is recorded. We'd be more than happy to make sure that you get that link as soon as possible. We will be sending it out to all attendees and all that registered for today's event uh, within the next 24 to 48 hours. So everyone will get a chance to look at this again. All right, well, it doesn't look like we've had um, many more questions. Is there an analytics view? So we, we are, that is, um, so we, the question was, is there a view for leadership or admins to look at in terms of, you know, temp templates, maybe how they're performing is I think how I understand that question. So that that's awesome. Um, that is really where we're working towards, right? We, we want to, in future releases be able to enable functionality to really help you make good decisions based upon data and analytics. Um, so do not have that today, but um, that functionality is certainly something being considered. So I see another question here. Is there um, a way to input information on a template um, so maybe i'm thinking maybe that question is can i edit an existing template that's there um, yes in the compose window you can go back in and add things like your signature if it's not already in the template or make slight changes to it before you send it out Okay, with that, um, I think we'll probably wrap up today's session. Uh, Kate, thank you so much for your help and assistance in today's session. Thanks to everybody who attended. Um, we'll look forward to getting the recording link out to all of you. And more importantly, we're going to look forward to really getting this in the hands of our users so they can start to use templates. So be on the lookout for future communications on availability. And we hope to see you on a future webinar. Hope you guys have a great day.